Welcome back, everyone. We're here in Studio B in the kitchen because we're talking about something um, that the paper even talks about this morning, the use of the crock pot. It's slow, it's easy, and the food tastes great. And we've got uh, executive chef John uh, Paul Hutchins with us this morning to talk a little bit about um, using the crock pot. And I came in, and of course, the first dumb question I asked was, what's but the it, difference? You know, it wasn't a dumb question, though. It's sort of dumb, because you said they're opposite ends of the spectrum. I mm -hmm. said, what's the difference between the crock pot and the pressure cooker? Because I have mm -hmm. a pressure cooker, mm -hmm. and uh, sorry, Char, I've never used it still. But you know what? A lot of people, you know, when they get married or, you know, they celebrate some significant date, somebody shows up with something like a crock pot <laughs> or a pressure right. cooker or a, like a bamboo steamer, and you're like, oh, thank you, and you put right. it in the back and you never use it. Well, a pressure cooker is meant for cooking things very quickly. So like dried beans, it would normally take maybe an hour or so to cook. You can probably cook in 15 or 20 minutes. Or stew meat that's real tough, you can cook in about 25, 30 minutes in a pressure cooker. Right, but you still this, like the crock pot. Well, but it's, it's, it's the total opposite. So this is for long, slow cooking. Okay. So for me, I get more flavor out of this. But the thing that I love about the crock pot is you put all this stuff in at night, and when you wake up in the morning, your whole house just smells wonderful. I mean, right. imagine, you know, you have this simmering, you know, we're, we're gonna be doing this hearty beef soup that's almost a stew, but imagine having that that aroma go through your house when you wake up first thing in the morning. Right, and now that's, I, that's a great point. It's uh, better than those Glade potpourri candles, <laughs> I gotta tell you, you know. And half the time, those things don't work anyway. So what do we do to well, make this stew? Well, this is so simple, because it is slow cooking. Um, you don't have to worry about things sticking and burning, which is another thing that, you know, especially if you have a hectic life, you have your kids running around, and you don't want to keep going back and stirring right. the pot. Well, this is, it's an enamel pot that's inset over a heating element, so this is a little bit warm. And it just has two settings. It has low and high. That's easy, okay. You know what I mean? So what's so, in here? Well, what I have in here right now is just a little bit of beef stock. Okay. Okay? And I'm gonna have you it. build this. Oh, great. All right? all right, and all you're gonna do is we have some meat here, and just kind of, you can slide that in. There's a little spatula right there. Just some cubed beef. Now, we're using cubed beef. Now, this doesn't have to be expensive stuff because the beauty of slow cooking is it really works best with the cheapest cuts of meat. So you can use round or chuck or, you know, things that you would typically use for ground beef. Right, okay. All right, so that goes in there. Then I'm going to throw in some tomato. Now, the tomato is going to add some richness and a little bit of... of this uh, is great. I love tomatoes. It's, it's going to add some acid so that the flavor isn't really deep and heavy. It's got some perk to it. And some celery, which, believe it or not, adds a little bitterness, which is some counter point uh -huh. to the sweetness of the tomato. And everything is diced, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, and onions? Onions. Now this was, our, our students uh, diced this up so they look perfect. Oh, it, I know, I was thinking, you, you probably yeah. came in early to do now this. this. Is, now this is, we're gonna add this last. Oh, okay. All right, but I'm gonna add some uh, potatoes. Okay. Now, the thing that I don't like a lot about a lot of uh, crock pot stuff is with the potatoes, um, you need the thickness. If you don't add the potatoes, it doesn't have that richness. We've got about 30 seconds okay. left. I know we're rushing you, but what add did you just put Add some spices. This is um, Worcestershire and Tabasco. Okay, oh, look and at that. And then some fresh herbs. Oh, that's great. And then I'm adding some wheat berries for interest and roughage. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, for interest and roughage. Cover it up. Okay, and how long do you cook it for? Overnight. And then just On lower or higher, it, does it matter? It really doesn't matter. It depends on the meat that you're using. And then before you serve it, you add this. They're really I wrapping add, me. I'm trying to stall. But I want to mention, you are doing some demonstrations. Is it tomorrow? At tomorrow night at the school. Scottsdale yeah. Culinary Institute. We've got all the information on the hotline, and, and it's open to anyone kind of interested in the We're going to be making bananas, fosters, flaming stuff up. It's going to be a blast. Oh, very fun. All right, so check out the Scottsdale Culinary Institute tomorrow. You can call this number or log on to our website for more information. Thanks, Chef. You're welcome.